Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side, every day you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew its itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your phone calls at 844-236-6010. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. Health is easy, friends. If you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, if, you're, if your body is breaking down at an accelerated pace, please, please, please understand because it's in the body's nature to heal, because it's in the body's nature to renew and regenerate itself. You don't need to be doctored. You don't need a prescription drug. If you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, there is no prescription drug that can help you reverse the breakdown process. But it doesn't matter because we can do it ourselves and let us show you how easy it can be. We want, to we want to change your life today. We want this to be the greatest day of your life. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, your life can change today. If you know somebody, if you have a friend or a loved one whose body is breaking down, who has diabetes or osteoporosis or autoimmune disease, who just doesn't feel good, that's not the way it's supposed to be. And that means that it can be reversed. Degenerative disease can be reversed, but it's not in the realm of the pharmacomedical model to reverse anything. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, recommended on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to start a business, if you want to help spread the word about how easy and how important it can be to reverse chronic degenerative, degenerative disease, to add years to your life, to stay out of the doctor's office, to not interface with the medical model, and if you want to make some money at the same time, sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. If you call 866-735-2470, they can tell you all about it. If you want to purchase any of our skin health products, Truth Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com and take a special long look at the retinol 5% gel. If you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, wrinkles, acne, oily skin, if you just want an all-around anti-aging product, retinol 5% gel. Don't be fooled by the silly products that are out there that pretend to have retinol in them. It's got, if it has retinol in it, it's going to smell like retinol, it's going to look like retinol, have a yellow color to it, and uh, chances are pretty good you're not going to find any real retinol products, real retinol products that have any more than 1% or so in, uh, in them. But if you check out truthtreatments.com, you'll find retinol 5% gel in addition to our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Omega-6 Healing Cream. Never preservatives, never fragrances, no wax, no filler, no oil, no silicon, nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't use or doesn't want. Check them out at truthtreatments.com. All right, we're talking about the cell versus the organ versus the tissue. We're talking about inflammation and microinflammation. All of this has to do with the idea of distinctions. Doctors focus on symptoms. They focus on organs. Health is about the cell. This is a major primary distinction. If you want to be healthy, if you're dealing with a health challenge, if you're sick of being on prescription drugs, this is a major distinction that can save your life, certainly can add years to your life. Focus on the cell. Doctors can't do it because the, the cell doesn't allow the doctor. The cell rejects the doctor. And because disease is at the level of the cell, there's nothing a doctor can do. Re degenerative disease. Doctors focus on the big picture inflammation while health and the lack of health is about the micro-inflammation, the invisible inflammation. Yesterday we said it's, we called it 
inflammaging because it's responsible for the aging process. Degenerative disease is aging. It's just a different kind of aging. It's an accelerated aging. So microinflammation, cell inflammation is inflammaging, and it's the kind of inflammation that's associated with our breakdown, with our degeneration. From the journal Public of Library of Science Pathogens, quote, ongoing heightened activity of the immune system, which is inflammation, has been linked to many diseases, including asthma, diabetes, and heart disease. In the aging, immune system healthy responses are weaker, and chronic inflammation is common, unquote. You don't see the inflammation. It's not swelling. It's invisible inflammation. And inflammation means attack. Inflammation means the body's protecting itself from something. I don't know how much clearer this can be. This is, this is as clear as it gets. And if we understand the quote, if we understand that immune, quote, immune system, healthy, uh, immune system responses are weaker and chronic inflammation is common in the aged and the sick, if we understand this, really understand it, we're, we now know more than our doctor who thinks that restoring our health is about lowering our cholesterol or restoring our health is about uh, making sure our LDL or HDL or TSH or whatever marker they're using is in the right reference range. That's how they do it. They use reference ranges, normal ranges based on statistics, actuarial tables. If we apply the wisdom of this idea that behind all breakdown is inflammation and attack, we'll be free. We will free ourselves from the shackles of the medical tyranny, from our doctor, from the pharmacomedical tyranny that wants us to be its ward, wants us to be its babies, wants to be our daddies. This is what the doctor wants to be, our daddies. That's why I say, my doctor told me, my doctor ordered me, my doctor wants me. Just substitute daddy. My daddy wants me. This is what they want us to think. They want us to think that our doctor is our daddy and that medicine, health is too complicated for us little people, that we have to go to the doctor to check out, to, to be checked out. Should, by the way, government's the same way. It's called infantilizing, making you into an infant. That's what it does. It makes us into infants. It infantilizes us. infantilizes us. The president is our daddy. Our doctor is our daddy. This is what the president is. He's the, he's the national daddy, and they're all running to be the, the national daddy. Did you see Sarah Palin yesterday? Oh, my goodness. And Donald Trump. Oh, that's another story. I wish I had a political show. Holy moly. What a freak show that is. Donald Trump, Sarah Palin. Holy moly. Are you kidding me? Two Corinthians. This medical model, it's not just egregious. It's not just twisted. It doesn't just, it doesn't just want our souls. It wants our money, our energy. It wants our will to live while it, it, enriches, our, it enriches itself like a parasitic virus, which it is. The pharmacomedical model is a parasitic virus. Contributes nothing like a parasite, just sucks our blood. I'm talking the pharmacomedical model. It is not our friends. I'm not talking surgery or uh, emergency surgery. I'm not talking about repairing something that's broken. Obviously, that needs to happen. I'm not even talking about antibiotics. Occasionally, those are necessary. But I'm talking about this idea that somehow the medical model can take care of our autoimmune diseases or our, or our deficiency diseases or our cancers or our heart diseases. From Benjamin Rush, this, this idea is ancient, not ancient necessarily, well, probably ancient. Uh, Alexander the Great said uh, uh, on his deathbed, I am dying from the hand of too many doctors. It's Alexander the Great, 600 B.C. or, or 400 B.C. Benjamin Rush, 17, uh, 1780. Unless we put medical freedom into the Constitution, the time will come when medicine will organize into an undercover dictatorship. Think I'm making this up? Am I being hyperbolic? Am I exaggerating? This is Benjamin Rush. He was a doctor, and he also signed the Declaration of Independence. And he called it an under. He said it will become an undercover dictatorship, which it is now to restrict the art of healing to one class of men. Chiropractors know this. Any alternative practitioner knows they better not diagnose. I know, you, I get letters all the time. I know you can't diagnose because the word is out. Doctors have a monopoly. Even though Benjamin Rush warned us against this, warned us about this 300 years ago. All right, I'm fine. Word. Okay, we are back. Right side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and also benfuchsarchives.com. 
You can search both both uh, Ben Fuchs archive, archives and brightsideben.com for topics or particular programs. If you may have missed one or want to review one or direct somebody to a special program, benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertiser recommended, you can also do so at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. And we'd love to have you on the Brightside Ben team if you're interested in starting a business and helping spread the word about the longevity products, about nutritional supplementation, about the power of the human body, about the divine gift of the cell, the divine gift of healing that the cell gives us, and make some money at the same time. Call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can sign up right from the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. So, Benjamin Rush, Thomas Jefferson, founding fathers, they all warned us about this, about the situation we're confronting now, about the situation we're confronting with the hegemony, the tyranny of the medical model the government as well, Obamacare. Have you noticed what's happening with prescription drugs, by the way? Have you seen all the new prescription drugs that are out there now? Since Obamacare, do you know that the pharmaceutical companies are set to have a ridiculously banner decade, according to CBS Money Watch? Spending on prescription medicine by U.S. patients may rise 41% to as much as, this is unbelievable, $480 billion by 2018. You know, when we get Obamacare and we get our meds paid for us, there's still sales for the drug company. Somebody's paying for that stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Medicaid prescriptions up 25% in states that expanded Medicaid coverage compared to states uh, that didn't, 2.8%. Uh, compared to 2.8% in states that didn't. 25% jump in prescriptions, which are already ridiculously high. Do you think Obamacare is there for the people? Do you think Obamacare is about us? Have you seen these new cancer drugs and hepatitis drugs? They're going for $1,000 a dose. The average American is spending $10,000, nearly $10,000 a year on medical expenses. By far and away, tops in the list of developed countries. Every year it goes up. Every year profits go up. Health spending is now $3 trillion. What? What does that even mean? A trillion, by the way. I mean, I, we hear these numbers all the time now, so it doesn't mean anything. If you take a grain of sand and compare it to an Olympic-sized swimming, swimming, swimming pool, that's a trillion. A trillion is the difference between an Olympic-sized swimming pool and a grain of sand. That's a big number, folks. Health spending, $3 trillion in 2014, and it's not going down, it's going up. And this is all since Obamacare. What do you think, is an accident? Obamacare's not about the people. It's not about, Obamacare's not about me and you. Yeah, I know if you have something catastrophic, and I believe it in catastrophic insurance. You don't, want, you don't want to be broken because you got a disease. But this idea that we have to have some insurance companies, we have to uh, be insured for our day-to-day -day health issues, it's obscene. Since the passage of Obamacare, the top 32 executives of uh, the top five insurance companies have reaped in, get this, $484 million in cash compensation and stock options. Half a billion dollars since Obamacare passed two years ago, or, or, or what is it now, five years ago, 2010 it passed. This is craziness, you guys. Watch TV for an hour a night and see all the new drugs that are out there, and they're not different. They're not all that different. There's a, you know, they have a new class of drugs or new dosage form, and they're basically all the same thing. Diabetes is a big one now. Oh, man, they love diabetes. They milk us. They, they just, that's an opportunity to milk us big time. 25 new anti-diabetes drugs have come out since 2012. And have, what's it done for, what happened to our diabetes epidemic? It's done now. It's all better, and we're all cured, and we're all reversing diabetes because of these 25 new anti-diabetes drugs. Do we really need 25 new drugs? for a disease caused by eating and sugar? Is any of this going to reverse diabetes? The ultimate example of this sneakiness, ugh, this twistedness, is this drug called Invokana. They're all bad. I, I just pick on Invokana because they're of the, their catchphrase. You're going to love your numbers. I think that is so nasty and so in your face. 
Oh, we can't do anything for your health, but you're going to love your numbers. Oh, forget it. Don't worry about the side effects, though. And there are a bunch, too. Have you noticed an absolute explosion in anti-diabetic drugs as uh, pharmaceutical companies fall all over themselves, trip all over themselves, trying to exploit the misery, the human misery associated with this classic lifestyle disease called diabetes, which is the third leading cause of death? Actually, if you factor in heart disease and cancer, it's probably the number one cause of death. It's certainly a leading cause of misery. According to the Transparency Market Research Company, the global market for diabetes management accounted for $41 billion in 2010, soon to be $114 billion by, by next year, or by this year, by 2016. This, this is a report that came out in 2010. So, of course, everyone wants a piece of the pie. Never mind that these things are poisons. And I am sorry. I'm just going to call it like it is. They're poisons. There's no, aside from number changes, you're not getting healthier. You're only getting poisoned. Yes, they're purveyors of poison, drug companies. They ultimately will kill you. They'll certainly accelerate your demise, and they will never reverse illness, which is what you want them to do. Hopefully, that's what you want them to do. According to the uh, Transparency Market Research Company, uh, biotech firms are developing and testing new therapeutic formulations and experimenting with a range of delivery systems, pens, syringes, sponges, orals, uh, oral pills, of course, capsules and tablets. Last month, a new one came out, an inhaler. Uh, it's called a Frieza. It's an uh, inhaled insulin. Diabetes, leading cause of death, or one of the leading causes of death, is an eating disease, it's a food disease, and there's no drug or doctor in the world that can reverse an eating disease. They can lower your test scores, they can lower your insulin and blood sugar by poisoning it, not, not by food, not by doing it lifestyle-wise, by poisoning it. But Invokana says you're going to love your numbers. This is so, so, so rude. According to drugwatch.com, Invokana is going to be a blockbuster. It's going to earn J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson, a billion dollars a year in sales. Every dollar ensuring that not only will we be in love with our numbers, but so will Johnson & Johnson. Johnson, that's what they should be telling you. Johnson & Johnson's going to love the numbers. How is it that this uh, Invokana, this magical drug, Invokana, that creates this wonderful world where, where we all love our numbers? How is it that it works? Well, it's this new class. Oh, it's a new class of anti-diabetes drugs. All the old diabetes drugs, they work with insulin and sugar. But, but no, Invokana, this is high-tech at work. Invokana poisons the kidneys. Ah, new, new place to poison the body. Now we're going to poison the kidneys. Usually they work with the liver. Now we're going to poison the kidneys. Or sometimes they work with the pancreas. Now we're going to poison the kidneys, though. Invokana poisons the kidneys. Yes, I said poison. That's what it does. It poisons the kidneys to force them to dump out glucose that they don't want to dump out. Under ordinary circumstances, glucose or sugar is conserved. Remember, for millions of years, there wasn't a lot of sugar around. So the body has evolved a system for conserving sugar. And one of, it, one of these mechanisms involves holding on to sugar at the kidney level. We'll finish up when we come back from our break and take your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back right after this. We're back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. Yes, I'm a little ticked off today. I've been ticked off for a couple of days about this whole scam. I get the phone calls. I get the letters from people who have been on the drugs and aren't getting better. I'm watching people disintegrate. From uh, This is from uh, Pediatrics, Journal Pediatrics. Prenatal exposure to asthma drugs may boost autism risk. Prenatal exposure to commonly used asthma drugs may increase the risk for autism spectrum disorder, new research shows. Investigators found that asthma drugs used during pregnancy are associated with more autism. Are you surprised? How can you be surprised? There's no way you cannot have side effects here. This is from, uh, this is from JAMA Internal Medicine. Low heart rate on heart rate reducing meds leads to higher cardiovascular disease and death risk. No kidding. You shut down your heart and you have a higher risk of dying. Are you kidding? I am surprised. Uh, of course, your doctor doesn't know this. Otherwise, he wouldn't be giving you a beta blocker because that's what those do. Or a calcium channel blocker because that's what those do. If you hear the word blocker or inhibitor or suppressor or anti, stay away. Invokana. I was going to tell you about Invokana. You know, I'm going to say this for tomorrow. I'm going to talk about Invokana. 
This one really ticks me off. Love your numbers. We'll talk about the side effect. We'll talk about how this thing works. And we'll talk about toxicity. But remember, this is the bright side. This is the good news. As, as twisted, as perverted, as evil as this pharmacomedical model is, the institution of medicine is, not the individuals necessarily, the institution is evil. There's still the good news, which is that the body is a healing and regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself day to day, moment to moment, minute to minute. And it does it every time we cut ourselves. This is our testimony. It's like the rainbow you know, in the Bible. The rainbow is a testimony that God will never destroy the world again. Well, when you cut yourself and it heals, that's your body's testimony that you can regenerate. And that you can, the body can turn it around and nobody has to suffer with the misery of a chronic degenerative disease, whatever that is. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to, to Anna in London. Is that across the pond, London? London? Is that, is that England? London? Hello there, Anna. Do we have Anna? Anna. Anna, Anna. I hate to leave. I hate to... Hello. Hi, Anna. Oh, I think Anna. I think we're going to put Anna back on hold. Anna, can you hear me? I don't know where Anna went. I'm sorry, Anna. Call back. We'll get you first up if you call back, Anna. I can't hear you. I don't know if you're talking to me or what, but I can't hear you. Brian in Kentucky, what's up? Brian in Kentucky. I wonder if this is me messing up here. Brian, do we have Brian? Brian, I hear you. I hear your phone. You're running to the phone, Brian. I'm going to put you back on hold, Brian. I don't know if the, hey, uh, uh, Blake, is that us or is that the callers? All right, I'm going to get one more. I'm going to get one more. See, John. John in Michigan. Hello. Hey, John. Hello. What's up, John? How you doing, John? Hello. Oh, my goodness. You guys at the network. Hello. What's, yes, I know. I hear you, John, but you don't hear me. John? John? No, John. Okay. Let's get a full, John. Hey, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm about sorry, that. I'm sorry, Ben. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, too. I have a question on, on the um, ulcerative uh, um, uh, colon. I believe uh, there's a gentleman that's done uh, research on GMOs, and since 1985, all these conditions have increased because of what the GMOs do to the gut and allow for leaky gut, and which creates most of these, con like the, the, the um, inflamed a... colon like Len Fry had. It could easily be a factor, easily be a factor. I don't know. I haven't seen anything definitive, but the logic, the chemistry logic makes sense. It could easily be a problem. GMOs are, GMOs are a big problem, and guess what? The, the toothpaste is out of the tube. They're all over the place, as we knew would happen. So, again, like yesterday, we were talking about how toxic our environment is. It's just something we have to live with. Protect yourself with supplementation. Eat as little calories as possible. Disengage from the machine. Disengage from the corporate, food corporate machine by eating less food, supplementing, and by making sure you're eating correctly. Uh, I'm okay. sorry, John. One more thing. Uh, with, uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, I was just reading, too, where uh, curcumin helps suppress some of the symptoms. But I've heard a long time back that doxycycline, as, uh, for taking for a year, would help eliminate it from the system because it's a virus. It's not well, a no, it's not a virus. There is a bacteria that's involved, a mycoplasma, they call it. But here's the thing. Low levels of antibiotics are a recipe for disaster. And I cannot for the life of me understand why anybody who understands anything about pharmacy or pharmacology would ever do this to a person. What happens is the bacteria mutate. Uh, there may be bacteria present, but they're secondary. Rheumatoid arthritis is an immune disease caused by something that's getting into the blood chronically and regularly. And it's always associated with other autoimmune diseases. Is mycoplasma or bacteria or, or invaders uh, involved? Maybe. But as long as you put the stuff in the blood through the digestive system, leaky gut, etc., you're going to have an immune response. And low levels of antibiotics are a very bad pharmacy strategy. Every pharmacist learns learns this first day of pharmacy school, first semester of pharmacy school. Never stay on an antibiotic and absolutely never stay on a low dose of an antibiotic because that's perfect for mutation, for resistance, uh, for bacterial resistance. Does that make that's sense, John? I, that's what I thought, and I, I would say fermented foods and kefir. Now you're uh, talking. I think now you're talking. Jordan Rubin uh, cured yes. himself. Yes, Jordan Rubin but, cured himself. He didn't use antibiotics. He didn't use doxycycline. He cured he himself. He used kefir. 
kefir, fermented foods, bacteria. He wrote about it t- uh, 15 years ago. He, r- he wrote about it. And when you I was see- at, out in California in the Russian store that sold food, you know, Russian foods, uh, they had a whole selection of kefirs. Uh, so these people know uh, from the old school uh, what, what works uh, really well. Good job, John. You know, uh, Longevity has a whole line of Jordan Rubin products, the oh. Beyond Organic products, probiotic cheese. We don't, I, don't, I haven't talked about them for a while, but they're amazing. I use them myself. Uh, uh, he has, he's got a, a product called the Swero V, which is a, a fermented whey product. I mean, Jordan is a beautiful guy and a brilliant, brilliant uh, uh, a scientist when it comes to understanding how the digestive tract works. But he's also got a heck of a lot of great products and a ranch. You know, he bought, he, he sold his company and bought himself a ranch where he actually breeds cattle to produce milk. Milk that doesn't have allergens in it, or has that's the A2 cow. Yes, Dr. correct. Dr. Richard Ulrey up here in Hillman, Michigan, at eMineral.info explains the A1A2 uh, conflict with uh, milk products. And right, the there's a great cow there's, that he has, and I'm drinking kefir right now from a cow that uh, is A2. So good for I'm, you, John. Hey, thanks for your call. I'm gonna mo- I'm gonna motivate here, buddy. Okay. Thanks for your call. Have a beautiful day. All right, Brian. Let's see if we get you back on here, Brian. You there? Brian. Hello, Brian. Ben. Hey, hey, Brian. Hey. Hey, hey, what's up? Uh, I just had a question about um, uh, vitamins A, E, D, and K you were talking about. Deek. Yeah. D-E-A-K, Deek. Yes, the fatty vitamins. What were you going to ask? Um, the ones you get at Walmart, like um, I forgot what brand it is, uh, the cheaper and expensive ones. What's your opinion on those? Well, it depends on what you're talking about. For the most part, you're, they're going to be very similar, but you just never know. Walmart's a big company. You'd think that they would be on the level. There was a, just a, an interesting show on Frontline. Yes, you ever hear that show, Frontline, on PBS? They did want a show on supplements and the problem with supplements. And they, it can be an issue. This is one of the neat things about longevity and, and knowing your company. Knowing the company you buy your supplements from, that's always the best way to do it. Walmart's a big company. You're probably not going to have too much of an issue, but you will have a problem with getting the right types of the nutrients. For example, when it comes to vitamin K, we talked yesterday about K2 versus K1. You're not going to find necessarily the right types of vitamin K, not the K2 or the zinc picolinate you know, or the selenium yeast. You'll find the cheapo kind. Hang on, Brian. We'll, we'll finish up when we come back. All right, we're back. On the bright side, I am pharmacist Ben. Yes, I'm a little ticked off today. I've been ticked off for a couple of days about this whole scam I get the phone calls. I get the letters from people who have been on the drugs and aren't getting better. I'm watching people disintegrate. From uh, This is from uh, Pediatrics, Journal Pediatrics. Prenatal exposure to asthma drugs may boost autism risk. Prenatal exposure to commonly used asthma drugs may increase the risk for autism spectrum disorder, new research shows. Investigators found that asthma drugs use during pregnancy or associated with more autism. Are you surprised? How can you be surprised? There's no way you cannot have side effects here. This is from, uh, this is from JAMA Internal Medicine. Low heart rate on heart rate reducing meds leads to higher cardiovascular disease and death risk. No kidding. You shut down your heart and you have a higher risk of dying. Are you kidding? I am surprised. Uh, of course, your doctor doesn't know this. Otherwise, he wouldn't be giving you a beta blocker because that's what those do, or a calcium channel blocker because that's what those do. If you hear the word blocker or inhibitor or suppressor or anti, stay away. Invocana. I was going to tell you about Invocana. You know, I'm going to say this for tomorrow. I'm going to talk about Invocana. This one really ticks me off. Love your numbers. We'll talk about the side effect. We'll talk about how this thing works. And we'll talk about toxicity. But remember, this is the bright side. This is the good news. As, as twisted, as perverted, as evil as this pharmacomedical model is, the institution of medicine is, not the individuals necessarily, the institution is evil, there's still the good news, which is that the body is a healing and regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself day to day, moment to moment, minute to minute. And it does it. Every time we cut ourselves, this is our testimony. It's like the rainbow. You know, in the Bible, the rainbow is a testimony that God will never destroy the world again. Well, when you cut yourself and it heals, that's your body's testimony that you can regenerate and that you can, the, the body can turn it around. And nobody has to suffer with the misery of a chronic degenerative disease, whatever that is. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to... To Anna in London. Is that across the pond, London? 
London? Is that is that England? London? Hello there, Anna. Do we have Anna? Anna. Anna Anna. I hate to leave. I hate to... Hello. Hi Anna. Oh, I think Anna is I think we're gonna put Anna back on hold. Anna, can you hear me? I don't know where Anna went. I'm sorry, Anna. Call back. We'll get you first up if you call back, Anna. I can't hear you. I don't know if you're talking to me or what, but I can't hear you. Brian in Kentucky, what's up? Brian in Kentucky. I wonder if this is me messing up here. Brian, do we have Brian? Brian, I hear you. I hear your phone. You're running to the phone, Brian. I'm going to put you back on hold, Brian. I don't know if the... Hey, uh, uh, Blake, is that us or is that the callers? All right, I'm going to get one more. I'm going to get one more. See, John. John in Michigan. Hello. Hey, John. Hello. What's up, John? How you doing, John? Hello. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you guys at the network. Hello. The, yes, I know. I hear you, John, but you don't hear me. John? John? No, John. Okay. Let's <laughs> get a full... John? Yes. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm about sorry, that. I'm sorry, Ben. I'm uh, sorry, too. I, I have a question on, on the... Um, also, uh, um, uh, call, call in. I believe uh, there's a gentleman that's done uh, research on GMOs and since 1985. All these conditions have increased because of what the GMOs do to the gut and allow for leaky gut, and which creates most of these, con like the, the, the um, inflamed colon like Len Fry had. It could and easily be a factor. Easily be a factor. I don't know. I haven't seen anything definitive, but the logic, the chemistry logic makes sense. It could easily be a problem. GMOs are... GMOs are a big problem, and guess what? The, the toothpaste is out of the tube. They're all over the place, as we knew would happen. So, again, like yesterday, we were talking about how toxic our environment is. It's just something we have to live with. Protect yourself with supplementation. Eat as little calories as possible. Disengage from the machine. Disengage from the corporate, food corporate machine by eating less food, supplementing, and by making sure you're eating correctly. Uh, I'm okay. sorry, John. One more thing, uh, with, uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, I was just reading, too, where uh, curcumin helps suppress some of the symptoms, but I've heard a long time back that doxycycline, as, uh, for taking for a year, would help eliminate it from the system because it's a virus. It's not a Well, no, it's not a virus. There is a bacteria that's involved, a mycoplasma, they call it, but here's the thing. Low levels of antibiotics are a recipe for disaster. And I cannot for the life of me understand why anybody who understands anything about pharmacy or pharmacology would ever do this to a person. What happens is the bacteria mutate. Uh, there may be bacteria present, but they're secondary. Rheumatoid arthritis is an immune disease caused by something that's getting into the blood chronically and regularly. And it's always associated with other autoimmune diseases. Is mycoplasma or bacteria or, or invaders uh, involved? Maybe. But as long as you put the stuff in the blood through the digestive system, leaky gut, etc., you're going to have an immune response. And low levels of antibiotics are a very bad pharmacy strategy. Every pharmacist learns learns this first day of pharmacy school, first semester of pharmacy school. Never stay on an antibiotic and absolutely never stay on a low dose of an antibiotic because that's perfect for mutation, for resistance, uh, for bacterial resistance. Does that make that's sense, John? I, that's what I thought, and I, I would say fermented foods and kefir. Now you're uh, talking. I think now you're talking. Jordan Rubin uh, cured yes. himself. Yes, Jordan Rubin but, cured himself. He didn't use antibiotics. He didn't use doxycycline. He cured he himself. He used kefir. Kefir, fermented foods, bacteria. He wrote about it t uh, 15 years ago. He, he wrote about it. And when you I was at, out in California in the Russian store that sold food, you know, Russian foods, uh, they had a whole selection of kefirs. Uh, so these people know uh, from the old school uh, what, what works uh, really well. Good job, John. You know, uh, Longevity has a whole line of Jordan Rubin products, the oh. Beyond Organic products, probiotic cheese. We don't, I, don't, I haven't talked about them for a while, but they're amazing. I do use them myself. Uh, uh, he has, he's got a, a product called the Swero V, which is a, a fermented whey product. I mean, Jordan is a beautiful guy and a brilliant, brilliant uh, uh, a scientist when it comes to understanding how the digestive tract works. But he's also got a heck of a lot of great products and a ranch. You know, he bought, he, he sold his company and bought himself a ranch where he actually breeds cattle to produce milk. Milk that doesn't have allergens in it, or has. That's the A2 cow. Yes, Dr. correct. Dr. Richard Ulrey up here in Hillman, Michigan, at eMineral.info explains the A1A2 uh, conflict with.
with uh, milk products. And right. There's a great th- that he has. And I'm drinking kefir right now from a cow, right, uh, is A2. So. Good for I'm, you, John. Hey, thanks for calling. I'm going mo- to motivate here, buddy. Okay. Thanks for your call. Have a beautiful day. All right, Brian, let's see if we get you back on here, Brian. You there? Brian, Hello, Brian. Ben. Hey, hey, Brian. Hey. Hey, hey. What's up? Uh, I just had a question about um, uh, vitamins A, E, D, and K you were talking about. Deek. Yeah. D-E-A-K. Deek. Yes, the fatty vitamins. What were you going to ask? Um, the ones you get at Walmart, like um, I forgot what brand it is, uh, the cheaper and expensive ones. What's your opinion on those? I, well, it depends on what you're talking about. For the most part, you're, they're going to be very similar, but you just never know. Walmart's a big company. You'd think that they would be on the level. There was just a, an interesting show on Frontline. Yes, you ever hear that show, Frontline, on PBS? They did a show on supplements and the problem with supplements. And there, It can be an issue. This is one of the neat things about longevity and, and knowing your company. Knowing the company you buy your supplements from, that's always the best way to do it. Walmart's a big company. You're probably not going to have too much of an issue, but you will have a problem with getting the right types of the nutrients. For example, when it comes to vitamin K, we talked yesterday about K2 versus K1. You're not going to find necessarily the right types of vitamin K, not the K2 or the zinc picolinate you know, or the selenium yeast. You'll find the cheapo kind. Hang on, Brian. We'll, we'll finish up when we come back. Attention backpackers on a budget. Why spend $80 to $300 to pump clean survival water? Introducing the Viva Water Pump Kit from Viva Outdoor Products. Super easy to use and super lightweight at only 6.5 ounces, the Viva Water Pump Kit provides high flow rate at one ounce per stroke, can be one hand pumped, and is dependable and affordable at only $24.99. Filter not included. Get your Viva Water Pump Kit at viba-odp.com from Viva Outdoor Products. Dangerous blood clot device alert. If you or a loved one had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to your heart or lungs and suffered an injury, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, and even death. These dangerous blood clot devices can break and the metal fragments can travel to your heart or lungs causing serious injuries. If you or a loved one suffered organ damage or other injuries from an IVC filter, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Act now. Time is limited to file a claim. For a free consultation and free information, call Injury Help Desk at 800-478-1507. 800-478-1507. 800-478-1507. This is an advertisement. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. InjuryHelpDesk.com is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is an alert. If your business or church is building this year, you're about to pay more than you should. This could mean thousands of dollars more for your office, retail space, church, or warehouse. A general steel building can save you as much as half the cost and time of similar conventional construction. And we're offering rebates of up to $20,000 to help you build today. Call General Steel for free information that could save you thousands. Call 866-91-STEEL. 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 There are a lot of things in life that are hard to swallow, but your minerals don't have to be one of them. CRSupplements.com Liquid Minerals make that easy. The same size that a plant hair root absorbs, CRSupplements.com Liquid Minerals are easy for your body to use, and they are easy for you to add to daily liquid intake. Made in the USA and kosher certified, we offer 21 different minerals that may be lost in food processing or don't exist in foods grown on depleted soils. Choose easy. Get easy to swallow liquid minerals from CRSupplements.com. Have you ever thought you'd like to flip houses but didn't know how or where to get the money? Are you ready to be your own boss so you can start living the good life? Hi, I'm Preston Ely. I used to be so broke. I had my electricity turned off nine times, but I figured out a way to quit my job and find financial freedom in real estate. For a limited time, I want to send you a free copy of my smash hit selling book, How to Get Rich in Real Estate. It shows you how to copy exactly what I did so you can make money from the comfort of your own home without even doing any manual labor. I've already given away 5,000 books and they're going fast. To get one before they're gone, call 1-800-958-9859. Listen, if you're sick and tired of stressing about money, this book could change your life. It's short, fun to read, easy to understand, and awesome. To find out how to get your free book while supplies last, call 1-800-958-9859. Call 1-800-958-9859. 1-800-958-9859. 
Attention backpackers on a budget. Why spend $80 to $300 to pump clean survival water? Introducing the Viva Water Pump Kit from Viva Outdoor Products. Super easy to use and super lightweight at only 6.5 ounces, the Viva Water Pump Kit provides high flow rate at one ounce per stroke, can be one hand pumped, and is dependable and affordable at only $24.99. Filter not included. Get your Viva Water Pump Kit at viba-odp.com from Viva Outdoor Products. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. 